The giant spider invasion certainly was an enigmatic and bizarre independent movie-making event. If Blair Witch was called a movie, the giant spider invasion could be called an epic of mega proportions. After all, what's a million dollars? Nothing compared to a gross of some 20 million plus. Especially if that independent 1970s drive-in movie was made for about $300,000 and then becomes one of the top 50 grossing films of 1975. But it didn't stop there. The enigmatism, if there is such a word, continued. Little did anyone know after the giant spider invasion's successful run in theaters throughout the world and on the ABC television network, the legs of that dilly of a Volkswagen giant spider would never buckle. It would go on to become a cult classic some 34 years later and still demands the attention of millions around the world. Few true Hollywood classics have enjoyed such long and continued interest and subsequent success as has the giant spider invasion. The combination of the film's success Mixed with the trials and tribulations of creating the movie, the widely mixed reviews, the cool and incredible and incredibly bad special effects have all contributed to the word of mouth hyping of the film worldwide. Becoming one of the most pirated films in independent filmmaking history. However, an additional piece of the puzzle is added to the enigmatic equation. According to rough estimates of unlicensed worldwide showings and sales, it is quite conceivable that the giant spider invasion could well have grossed over 200 million in the years since its creation. Sadly, little or none of these profits have found the way back to its original creator, the man who reigns supreme over the threat of chaos, keeping a cool head at all times. Mr. Bill Rabane.